Hello, this is Christine Eggleston of Wildflowers and Sage, and today I'm going to be demonstrating for you rows 3 through 7 on our braided cable headband. You'll notice in the stitch diagram that there's two different kinds of crossover. There's the 4 on the outside of the cable, and you'll notice the dark stitch that will be the one over. They're all going that way, and then there's the 3 crossovers in the middle, and you'll notice those also go the opposite direction. There, so we'll see how those are all accomplished. These ones on the outside are simpler than the ones in the middle, so we'll we'll see how to get those done. So what I have here is a headband already started, and it's already accomplished up to row three. So we'll start there, and you'll notice that all of the even rows are the same. They're all the half double crochet across, and they worked on the wrong side. And then all of the odd rows are where we'll be working our cables. So, we'll start there with row 3, and the first thing that needs to be done is the chain 2. And that chain 2 start, counts as the first uh, half double crochet, and after that we'll work two more half double crochets. And then the next thing on our chart is two front post double trebles, which I worked in the first two front post trebles from row one. So to do a front post treble, front post double treble, we'll yarn over three times. And we'll find that stitch we're working in, which is this first front post treble from row one. And we'll put our hook around that post. We'll yarn over. Pull up that loop, at which time you should have five loops on your hook. And we'll yarn over and we'll pull through two. And we'll do that a total of four times. And that accomplishes your first front post double treble. And we'll do that again in our next stitch here. Three times. Put it around that post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, four times, and there we have our two, first two front post double trebles. And then we'll be putting a half double crochet in the next stitch, so we want to make sure that we look behind and that we don't work in those two stitches that we just did. We'll work in the third one there. Alright, so on our chart we now we have our crossover to work. So the first thing we'll do is uh, the, the two front post double trebles that will be over and those will be worked in these two front post trebles from row one. So we'll yarn over three times. We'll find the stitches we're looking for which are these two right here. We'll work in that first post. Yarn over three times and then we'll find that second post there. Alright, and then we have a half double crochet in the middle of our crossover. So we'll look on the back here. We'll make sure that we skip the two stitches we just worked in and put that half double crochet in the third one. Alright, and then we'll be working that under, the two under front post double trebles. So yarn over three times and then we'll be putting our hook under these last two stitches that we worked. We'll put them right under. We'll find the stitch we're going to work in, which is this one right here. Probably our first one. We'll pull that right up to the top, right where we can work on it. Yarn over. Pull up a loop and just work it just like any other front post double treble. 
Yarn over, pull through two, four times. Now, we'll need to go down there and grab a, the second one. So we'll yarn over three times again. We'll put our hook under. And we'll find that second stitch right here. And we'll pull that one up. Yarn over. And work our second front post double treble. There we go. Let me stretch that out. You can see we have our crossover, just like shown in the diagram. So we'll work the next one as a half double crochet. Look at our back here and make sure that we skip the two we just did. And work on that third one. Okay, at this point you should be able to look at your work and see that you have five stitches left. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so you're on the right track there. So the last five stitches will be two front post double trebles worked in the last two front post trebles from row one and then three half double crochets. So yarn over three, find your stitches down here that need to be worked. that again for the last one there. We'll look behind again, make sure we skip the two stitches we just did. And we'll put our half double crochet in the third one there. Do our second half double crochet there. And our third one. There we go. And that finishes our row. And you can see that it looks just like on the stitch diagram. So I'll go ahead and do row four, which is just the half double crochet on the wrong side. And then I'll be right back and we'll do row five. All right, so when you're doing your even rows, it's a really good time to count and make sure you have your 17 stitches that should be in each row. So we have our row four done there <clears throat> with our 17 half double crochets. So starting with row five, we'll have our chain two here. And the next thing in row five will be two more half double crochets. And then we'll be going into a crossover. So we'll do two front post double trebles. You notice these will be the under ones. And they're gonna connect down here our first part of our crossover that we just did from row three. So we're gonna yarn over three times. We're gonna find the stitches that we're looking for. All right, and that will be these two stitches right here. So we'll go ahead and work on that first one. And then the second one. And then we'll have a half double crochet in the middle of our crossover. Look behind, find that third stitch. And then we'll work front post double treble two. In this one, we'll go back to our first uh, front post double trebles from row three. So we can find those on our work. 
as being right here. So we'll yarn over three times. And since we're working the overstitch right now, it's just a matter of just going right over the ones we just did. Going down that first stitch that we're looking for. And working our front post double treble. We'll do another one in that second stitch. Right, so that accomplishes the first crossover. The next thing we'll do is a half double crochet. We'll look on our back, make sure we skip the two stitches we just worked. And go into the third stitch there. And then we'll see we're doing another crossover, just like we just did. So the first two front post double trebles, oops. We'll go back to our last stitches from, from row three. So we'll look on our work here. We'll find those, we'll be working into these two stitches right here. Yarn over three times. Go up into the first one there. Work into the second one. Then we'll do our half double crochet that's in the middle of our crossover. Make sure you skip the first next two stitches there. Work on the third one. And we see that the next two front post double trebles go back to these stitches here. We'll find those on our work here as being these two right here. So we'll yarn over three again and go back to that first one right there. Yarn over three and go back to our second one there. And that just leaves us with three, um, three half double crochets to finish that row. Here in row five. Make sure we skip our two stitches we just did. So there is our row five, and you can see that those our crosses are going the opposite as they did back here in row three, just like we saw in our stitch diagram. So I'll go ahead and get row number six done with our half double crochets, and we'll come back for our row seven. So moving on to row seven, we'll start as before with our chain two and then our two half double crochets. Then we'll see in our diagram that next thing will be um, two front post trebles this time into directly below uh, row five, the first part of the crossover there. So, yarn over three, two times this time, because we're only doing a front post treble. And we'll find those two stitches we're working in, which are right there. Work into that first one there. So being a front post treble, we'll just 
do this three times. One, two, three. Again, yarn over twice. Work into that next stitch there. All right. And then we'll have our half double crochet there next. Make sure we skip the last two we just did. Do our half double crochet. And then we'll do our crossover. And you notice this crossover is exactly the same as crossover we did down here. So it's a little bit more complicated one. So the first thing we'll do is a front post double treble. We'll work the end of these two stitches over here. So we will yarn over three times again. We'll find those stitches we're looking for, which will be these two right here. We'll go ahead and work our front post double trebles over there. Do our half double crochet in the middle there. And then we'll be working our two under front post double trebles. And I'll be working these two stitches here. So we'll yarn over three times. Find those stitches we're looking for here, which are these two right here. We'll go under our last two stitches, find that first one we want to work there. Grab that up and pull it up to the top here where we can work on it. And work our front post double treble. We'll do that again. Under. Grab that second stitch up to the top there. All right, that accomplishes our crossover there. And we'll do our next half double crochet. When we finish our row, same as the beginning, two front post trebles directly below and then three half double crochets. Yarn over twice. Finding those last two stitches there. Work in the first one. And our last two, or I'm sorry, last three hat double crochets to finish the row. Alright, so that finishes that row. And something I didn't mention was that when you look at the, um, the stitch markers here, you'll see that the front post double trebles, they have three marks on them, yarn over three times. And the front post trebles have two marks on them you yarn over twice. So that's a really easy way to remember that. So hopefully you've seen how really simple this pattern is. It looks complicated, but it's actually quite simple and hopefully that will help you get started and you'll be able to finish your mitts and your head and your scarf as well now.